So let's talk about the economy. Oh my gosh. You know, it's been so volatile uh, the last few months, really the last year, and it's impacted a way that we spend and save our money. So talk to us about what Americans should think, especially women. Should we be mindful with of our spending habits? You know, how is the economy ap- impacting our finances? Right. Um, so as soon as the pandemic hit, I worked twice as hard, probably you did too, because it up uh, it changed women's roles in their family and their workplace. Um, they were the ones that were um, taking their laptops into the closet um, make, and because the other family was in the other part of the room needing care and going back and forth. They also took time, women took to take care of not only just um, school age children, but also, and I think this is, was underground, to take care of um, older older adults. When their mother couldn't leave the house, um, it was the daughter, the adult daughter who went and brought her groceries. So there was a lot of elder care and child care um, demands that impacted their labor force participation. So I'm really watching how much that one year or two year absence from the labor force will affect you know, eventual wealth accumulation. So that's just not you know not working and not saving because you're not working. The other thing that happened was a big cost of living increase. Uh, and that meant that women, Save women's savings were called upon to help fill those gaps in a family budget. We've always known that the a woman's in, um, individual retirement account or her 401k was kind of a family business. You know, it was seen as the pot which the family could um, dive into. The um, fathers or male um, IRAs and 401ks aren't invaded. Um, as much as as women's 401k. So I'm also watching to see how those withdrawals um, and the lack of savings uh, are, is going to impact women's wealth accumulation. 